It's week 16 of the 2022 season. And coming up, we'll see Stefan Diggs. As he's topped a 1,300-yard mark receiving on the year, it's the Bills and the Bears, and it's all up next. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point. But boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. First carry now for David Montgomery. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. This one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside, defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Naheem Hines. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Now here come the Bills, and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth-year star QB, taking seventh overall back in 2018, Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between, he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And some room to roll now. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Down to about the 37. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
We're always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. To throw on second and six, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 27-yard line. We're scoreless after one. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. He'll get ten there all on his own, but it'll be second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he's going to be marked down just outside the ten. Now a first and ten at the 11. Now Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. From the five, second and four. Here's Allen to throw it. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Fields on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> Looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Tredavious White with the pick, and the Bills are gonna take possession of the football. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, a 23-yard run. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the delay, here's Hines. 
Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. From the 29. Allen. He's got to hook up with Diggs. And he is out of bounds. But first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Allen now looks to throw. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sank back at the five-yard line. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left half should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by pass is good, and that will do it for this first half. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. That's a tremendous start to the third quarter. These guys had their foot on the gas the entire first half. They continue to keep the accelerator down. The third quarter starts with a run by Singletary. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Singletary again. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle but they allow the conversion. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Allen on first and 10. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. A drive there of just four plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Things, unfortunately, continuing to implode here. The interception he threw on the previous drive, of course, led to the touchdown. And that deficit widening a little bit further. First and 10. On first down, Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That was Jordan Poyer, the safety in for the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Fields now to throw. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. 
And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And they're going to speed things up here. Allen going to keep it again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will Back now at Soldier Field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. They go right back to Singletary. And down to the 44, five yards that time. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And now they'll throw with Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Right back to Singletary on second down. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They run here with Singletary, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble. That oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Chicago defense able to come up with a goal line stand. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points here in the closing minutes? Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line four quarters, and this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. So free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Now it's Crowder. And now we move on to focus to Stephon Diggs. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big... And that's caught inside the 35! Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. And this one is incomplete. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills add on to their lead, and they appear poised to break this long losing streak. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. And they'll try to run it in with Singletary. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. And not what you want to see this late in the season. The medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. 
Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. But not only is this defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. To throw again on second down. Fields. Now a desperation throw. And this pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. turnovers you didn't allow any points and you put up a bunch of points what an effort and Brandon I just have to ask you that's all the stuff that we saw happen today those are statistics numbers the whole deal but my question is how does one team come ready to play and the other one obviously not ready at all well I mean I obviously don't have an answer to that but that was the story from the get-go one side was awake and ready and the other just seemed to sleep so for Buffalo, it's a good fifth win for them as they play out the string. And they'll have another road date next week with the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for Chicago, the slide continues as they drop now to 3-12. and And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions.